I'm standing in front of the Oviet Library, which at the moment is empty. That is because no more than two hours ago, there was an individual inside who posted a picture of a gun on Snapchat for all students to see. In an event of an active shooter, police advise that you hide. Silence your cell phones and do not come out until police arrive or until it is safe to do so. I'm standing on Verdugo Crestland Drive, and behind me, you can see the aftermath of the Latuna Canyon fire. Vegans say they have many reasons for adopting a vegan lifestyle, including helping the environment, respecting animal rights, and improving their health. Customers can purchase tickets online at thedogcafela.com, and for the price of $15, you could spend up to an hour with the dogs. Reporting from Silver Lake, this is Leo, and I'm Rosie Rodriguez for Valley View News. Students at this Cal State campus are gearing up for one of the most anticipated concerts of the year, the annual event known as Big Show that takes place outside in the Oviet Lawn. <laughs> but not this student. Nicole Kovac was one of many who attended the Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas, where a gunman opened fire from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel. We just took off running again because we didn't know where the shot came from. We didn't know if there was another active shooter coming towards us. We didn't know anything. 59 people lost their lives and more than 500 were injured in what is deemed the deadliest shooting in American history, an experience that changed Nicole's life. I was supposed to go to class on Monday night. I, I just I couldn't. I was terrified to leave my house. And even on Wednesday, I still remember I was walking through campus and I just started crying because I was looking at all the windows above us and I just, I don't know, I still felt like there was a target. So I don't know if I still, to this day, feel safe. The first step to feeling safer may be knowing what to do. In an event of an active shooter, police advise that you hide. Silence your cell phones and do not come out until police arrive or until it is safe to do so. Reporting from Cal State Northridge, this is Rosie Rodriguez for Valley View News. I'm standing on Verdugo Crestland Drive, and behind me, you can see the aftermath of the Latuna Canyon fire that destroyed five homes, led to the evacuation of 700 residents, and burned over 7,000 acres. Parts of a dining room table, a washer, and dryer all turned into ash. That is all the remains of Don Pickering's home after it was destroyed by a brush fire. Everything's broken. If you do find something you think, you pick it up and it falls apart, it crumbles. Pickering says he only had a few minutes to evacuate his house and pick up some belongings before the fire engulfed his backyard. Yesterday, he was caring for his succulent plants, which he planned on giving away to one of his neighbors. Today, he picks up what is left of his home. We're all the way up to that big tree. To, to here was just cactus and succulent pots, and I had tables right here. They're just completely gone. Pickering uh, says he is still large. trying to remain strong for his family. Try and stay positive. I try and keep my family staying positive. Think about what's important. It, it makes a difference. Reporting from Latuna Canyon, this is Rosie Rodriguez for Valley View News. This coffee shop is the first of its kind in the U.S. The dog cafe is hoping to revolutionize dog adoption by allowing people to spend time with rescue dogs away from overcrowded shelters. Because a lot of times dogs get overlooked, unfortunately, because of certain behavioral issues that may occur when they're, you know, being caged up or they're in a kennel. The dog cafe works with local shelters to rescue dogs that have been abused or neglected and gives them the opportunity to find a new home. The shop provides plenty of space for the dogs to roam free away from kennels, which can provoke fear and aggression in the dogs. Sometimes you can bring a dog home and you guys just don't get along, so it's nice to have that experience of meeting the dogs and hanging out with them for that hour. All dogs are up for adoption, but customers can also choose to foster the dogs after business hours. Customers can purchase tickets online at thedogcafela.com, and for the price of $15, you could spend up to an hour with the dogs. Reporting from Silver Lake, this is Leo, and I'm Rosie Rodriguez for Valley View News. After adding up nutrition, taste, and budget, many people still refuse to go vegan. People also have misconceptions about the benefits of a vegan diet, but the American Cancer Society suggests healthy meals should be two-thirds plant-based. And, according to the EPA, animal agriculture is one of the top five contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. On Point's Lucita Pineda has more on the story.